Welcome back everyone to tutorial number 39 and in this video we are going to start learning about animations in Angular 2. Now I'm pretty sure we all know what animations are and why they're used so I'm going to dive right into explaining how animations are achieved in Angular 2. And to make things simpler and help in understanding the concept I'm also going to first explain to you an example that we can all relate to. Now consider a room. Now this room has a light bulb and the light bulb is connected to a switch. Now initially let's say that the switch is in the off state, then the room is in total darkness. Now if you toggle the switch to the on state, then there is light inside the room. Now let's say that the bulb is also a fancy one, so the bulb takes one second to slowly transition from off to on and also from on to off. So here's the current situation. Initially, the switch is in the off state and that is characterized by darkness. When you toggle the switch, the state changes from off to on and darkness slowly transitions to light. And when you toggle the switch back to off state, then light also transitions back to darkness. So the switch is kind of like a trigger for light or darkness. Now animations in Angular are very much like this example. First, we need the element that we want to animate. In our example, we had the room. And in Angular, we have an HTML element like a div tag. Now, we want two states for the div element to transition between. So we have off state and an on state. Now we need a way to characterize these two states and for that we use CSS. Now if the div tag is in the off state, let's just style it with background color black and when it makes a transition to the on state, we have background color as white. And just like how we have a switch to toggle between the on and off state, in Angular we will have a button to toggle between the two states. So let's see how to put all of this into code. Now I have the basic Hello World template here. I've just replaced Hello World with Angular Animations. And in, style, in styles.css, I have created a class called Room. And this ha just has a height and width of 200 pixels and a background color of black. So if we apply this to a div tag over here, in h1, under h1, I'm gonna say div and then close the div and then add a class is equal to room. Let's save this and head over to the browser. There you go. We have the element that we want to animate. Now, before we can proceed with any animations, we need to import certain animation specific functions in our component. So over here in our app component, I need to import several animation specific functions. The first one, and I'm just going to add, I'm gonna arrange it vertically. So trigger, and then we are going to use something called a state style transition and animate keyframes and finally group and let me also move this down all right now we might not use all of them in this particular video but i'll be covering all of them in the upcoming videos now we define animations in the component decorator so just like the selector and template, we have a new configuration called animations. So over here, animations. And here we can specify an array of animations. Now each animation mainly is going to have three important things. A trigger or name for the animation, possible states for the animation, and transition for the animation. So let's see how that looks in code. Now, 
over here in animations, I'm going to start off by specifying the trigger keyword. Now this trigger is basically kind of like giving a name to the animation. So let's call this lights on off. Now this takes in a second parameter, which is going to be an array of properties. And over here, we are, first we are going to specify the different states for our animation. So state, now remember a room had, had an off state and an off state. So one of the states is off. And how did we characterize off state? We specified that the background color would be black. So background color, black. Now, we also did mention that there were two states. The, so the second state is going to be the on state. And how did we say the on, on state was going to be? We said that it is going to be light. So background color, white. All right, now we have the two states. So the next thing we need to specify are the transitions. So transition, now remember we had two transitions from off state to on state and we want this to happen for a period of let's say, let's go with two seconds. So two seconds as a string and I'm gonna specify another an transition now this transition is from on state to the off state. And then we're going to specify this animate again for two seconds. All right, so now we have the animation ready and the element to be animated also ready. So we have to attach this animation now. And to attach the animation to the div tag, we use the following syntax. So over here, we're going to use property binding, so square brackets, we're going to use the add symbol, followed by the trigger name, so this right here, lights on off. So I'm just gonna copy it and then paste it. Now this, we're going to bind it to a state of this animation, so either off or on, but this is going to be a property that we define in the component class, so I'm gonna call this as room dot state so this room dot state is going to vary between off and on so finally we need a button to toggle this room state so over here i think i'm going to place it above the div tag let's go with button and then let's call this toggle lights and then close the button now we need to have a click event on this button and then bind it to a handler. So I'm gonna call this toggle lights. So we have a button, when it gets clicked, it's going to go to this toggle lights function. So over here, underneath title, which says angular animations, I'm also going to have room.state, and this is going to be of type string, and initially, we want this to be off. Now, room dot state is going to give room implicitly has any type. All right. All right, I'm just gonna call this room state. All right, that should be fine. So room state and then room state is of type string and initial value is going to be off. And we also need to define toggle lights. So toggle lights, and we are going to say this dot room state. Now we are going to check if this dot room state is equal to off. Now if it is off, then we are going to change it to on. And let me see if you can have a look at that. And if it is on, we're going to change this to off. All right, now we are ready to test our application. So let's save this, head over to the browser. I have this toggle lights button here. If I click on this, it takes one second and then there is light in the room. If I click on this again, then it transition, transitions back to darkness. So 
if you can consider our example that we started with, this is like a room initially with off state and that is total darkness. When I switch it on, it goes to total or the light is on and it takes one second to transition. I toggle again, takes one second back to darkness. So let's quickly have a look at the code and see how that is happening. So it all starts with the button click. Now the button click is going to trigger this toggle lights method and toggle lights method we are checking if room state is off or on and we are just basically toggling between off and on. Initially room state is off. So over here it comes to div tag. So the room state is off and then this state is going to be background color so that is going to be rendered onto the view. When I click on the button it checks is it off Yes, it is off, so I'm gonna change it to on. Now when this room state changes to on, this trigger is going to match the on state, and then the on state is characterized by background color white. So it knows that it has to change to white, but it has a look at the transition. So okay, we have a transition. When I change from off to on, I need that to happen over a period of two seconds, and that is how it is going to animate. And when I change or when I click on toggle lights again, room state changes from on back to off and off is going to be checked over here. We have a state called off. So we need to now have a new style which is background color black, but this has to happen over two seconds. So that is how animations are going to happen in Angular 2. There's plenty more to learn about animations in Angular, so stay tuned for the upcoming video. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe.